So hello my friends, Devon Linux here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the top 10 best 4K camcorders. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. As more cameras come out, it gets more and more difficult to distinguish between a good and a great camera these days. Today's camera manufacturers have riddled the market with quote hybrid cameras that appear to match the quality of real video cameras. But the truth is even the best hybrid camera often has drawbacks compared to a dedicated camcorder or video centric camera. And while most reviewers and journalists seem to overlook the segment of the camera market in today's world, these cameras remain dangerous contenders for video shooters. And these are the cameras that place maximum emphasis on ensuring their footage meets broadcast standards and quality and offer the capabilities to provide dependable professional level video. While many great DSLR and mirrorless cameras offer extraordinary video capabilities, even with the debut of 8K video, and though have their place, the reality is they don't provide nearly the same amount of flexibility as a dedicated camcorder provides. With that, in today's video, we'll cover the top 10 most affordable and most rounded 4K camcorders that deliver excellent quality and value for money. Coming in number 10, Canon's HF G60. Canon's HF G60 marks the latest entry into the Vixia compact consumer lineup and Canon's next generation of budget-friendly 4K equipped camcorders. Initially released in the spring of 2019 alongside the lower end HF G50, it replaces the older HF G40 model released back in 2016. This camera features a one inch CMOS sensor, a 25.5 to 382 and a half millimeter lens, a 3-inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, a DC input, dual card slots, ND filters, time-lapse, microphone, and headphone ports. For video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 30 frames per second at 150 megabits per second and 1080p full HD up to 60 frames per second at 35 megabits per second. And it uses the MPEG-4 codec, which supplies footage in the highly compatible MP4 format. While for stills, it provides the equivalent of 8.2 megapixel photos. Canon's camcorders are known for delivering excellent image quality and great lenses, but Canon's also known for its outstanding phase detection AF system. And thanks to the G60's powerful new Digic DV6 image processor, it also obtains Canon's legendary dual pixel CMOS AF technology, a feature found on high-end EOS DSLRs. Dual pixel AF delivers superior autofocusing in both speed and accuracy compared to traditional hybrid AF systems, and the camera provides excellent subject tracking performance as well, making it particularly strong for filming movement where manually focusing is otherwise challenging. In the end, the HF G60 is a strong running gun solution that delivers excellent 4K quality in a small compact design with autofocusing that leads the class at its particular price point. Coming in number nine, Sony's FDR-AX700. Sony's AX700, initially released in the fall of 2017, replaces the outgoing AX100 flagship, and it now takes the helm as Sony's newest high-performing handycam model aimed at the prosumer market. It features a one-inch stacked Exmor RS CMOS sensor, a 29 to 348 millimeter Zeiss lens, a three and a half inch articulating touchscreen, tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, HDR, a DC input, dual card slots, ND filters, time-lapse functionality, wireless connectivity, headphone and microphone ports. In video capabilities, this camera supplies 4K UHD video, also up to 30 frames per second at 100 megabits per second in the MPEG-4 codec to the XAVCS and ABCHD formats. And it shoots 1080p full HD video up to 120 frames per second at 100 megabits per second. For stills, it provides the equivalent of 12 megapixel images in the three by two aspect ratio. So it needs to equip this camera with the slow motion mode, which provides super slow motion HD videos up to a whopping 960 frames per second. This creates videos that are 32 times slower than real time. And it's a rare feature in this class, but one that delivers an enormous amount of control for a consumer camera. Sony has also equipped the camera with S-Log, S-Gamma, and HLG profiles, increasing the camera's dynamic range. And this camera also marks the first Handycam camcorder to incorporate Sony's 273-point hybrid phase detection AF system from their Alpha mirrorless lineup. This system employs phase detection combined with conventional contrast detection to deliver more 
more precise, accurate, and steadfast focusing. The camera also offers seven focusing speeds, ranging from super slow to fast, giving users immense flexibility over the AF transition speed as well. In the end, the AX700 is a notable improvement over its predecessor, and it delivers excellent quality at an affordable price. Coming in number 8, Canon's XA50. Initially released in the summer of 2019 alongside the XA55, Canon's XA50 marks the latest entry into their 4K prosumer camcorder space. The XA50 is the slightly more affordable offering of the two options, with their main difference ultimately coming down to an XDI terminal. Nevertheless, both cameras are largely identical and are the first in the XA lineup to feature a larger 1-inch CMOS sensor than the earlier XA30 models. Outside of its larger 1-inch sensor, it also features a 25 to 382 millimeter lens, optical stabilization, a 3-inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, dual card slots, dual XLR ports, ND filters, a DC input, and headphone and microphone ports. Like the HF G60 mentioned before, it obtains Canon's acclaimed dual pixel CMOS AF from their DSLR lineup, allowing the camera to deliver extraordinary continuous autofocusing and subject tracking. But unlike that particular camera, this camera obtains dual XLR inputs, allowing the camera to interface with professional audio devices. And it also obtains face priority and face only modes, which specifically focus on the faces of subjects. However, for video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 30 frames per second at 160 megabits per second in the MPEG-4 codec to the MP4 and XF ABC formats, while for 1080p Full HD, it shoots up to 60 frames per second at 45 megabits per second. Canon has also installed the wide DR gamma setting for increased dynamic range and seamless gradations. On the other hand, for stills, this camera produces the equivalent of 8.2 megapixel images. In the end though, the XA55 is a feature rich and portable option, ideally suited for on the go news gathering or ENG productions. While it's mostly similar to their G60, it does provide the detachable handle, which supplies X our inputs along with other added functionality and for those reasons it's the stronger option in their current lineup. Coming in number 7, Panasonic's UX180. Initially released in the fall of 2016, Panasonic's UX180, which was released alongside the lower end UX90, is the premium model to replace the AG160. It's a camera that takes much of the core features from its lower cost counterpart but adds extras to make it more oriented towards working professionals. It features a 1-inch MOS sensor, a 25 to 508 millimeter Leica lens, a 3.5-inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, ND filters, optical stabilization, a DC input, dual XLR ports, dual SD card slots, and a headphone input. It records DCI 4K video up to 24 frames per second, 4K UHD up to 60 frames per second, and 1080p Full HD up to 60 frames per second. And it provides footage using the MPEG-4 codec at 150 megabits per second to the MOV, MP4, and AVCHD formats. The camera also offers super slow motion recording up to 120 frames per second in Full HD, while for stills, it produces the equivalent of 8.8 .8 megapixel photos. Unlike competitors though, it's one of the rare cameras to offer cinema 4K recording, the slightly wider 17 by 9 aspect ratio, and is also one of fewer cameras to provide an SDI output, a standard interface for monitoring. Not to mention its 25.4 millimeter angle of view makes this camera the widest of any fixed lens camcorder in its price point, and it also inherits the cine light gammas from the Panasonic flagship Varicam. In the end, the UX1 80 delivers enormous upgrades in imaging, connectivity, and versatility over its lower end counterpart, and it's an excellent choice for professionals needing performance and control in multi camera environments. Coming in number 6, Sony's PXW Z150. Initially released in the spring of 2016, Sony's Z150 is the next tier in Sony's camcorder lineup, stepping up from the more prosumer-oriented AX series. This camera replaces the Z100, released three years prior, and is the next installment into their XD Cam series. It features a 1-inch Exmor RS CMOS sensor, a 29-348mm to 348 millimeter Sony G lens, a 3.5-inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, ND filters, a DC input, an SDI output, dual XLR inputs, 
wireless connectivity, and a headphone port. For video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 30 frames per second at 100 megabits per second in the MPEG-4 codec to the XAVC and AVC HD formats, while 1080p Full HD shoots up to 60 frames per second at 50 megabits per second, while for stills, it produces the equivalent of 14.2 megapixel images. Sony's also equipped this camera with the slow and quick video mode, allowing users to shoot 120 frames per second in Full HD. It's also one of the few cameras in this class though, with full networking capabilities, allowing FTP transfers and full live streaming or broadcasting without any accessories. And the camera supports full remote control via smartphone or tablet, providing a key selling point over rivals that lack this capability natively. In the end, Sony's experience in design and manufacture shows with the Z150. It's packed with features and will excite enthusiasts and pros alike, and it delivers broadcast level performance with the advanced long got codec and footage free of compromises. Overall, it's a strong option for documentary filmmakers, broadcasting, and ENG shooters looking for a grab and go solution. Coming to number five, Sony's PXW-Z90V. Initially released in the fall of 2017, Sony's Z90V brings professional features to its sibling, the AX700. It features a one inch CMOS sensor, a 29 to 348 millimeter lens, a three and a half inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, a DC input, dual card slots, ND filters, and a microphone and headphone port. For video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 30 frames per second at 100 megabits per second, and 1080p full HD up to 60 frames per second at 50 megabits per second. It also uses the MPEG-4 codec, which supplies footage to the XAVCS and AVCHD formats, while for stills it produces 14.2 megapixel photos in the 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Like its sibling, the AX700, Sony's also equipped this camera with the slow and quick mode, capturing super slow motion videos in HD up to 960 frames per second. And it also obtains its outstanding 273 point phase detection AF system for confident focusing and HDR capabilities using HLG. But unlike that particular model, the Z90V features a top handle with dual three pin XLR inputs with nano power. It also has a 3G SDI output to connect a monitor. Additionally, this model even supports supports both the 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi bands, and you can live stream to RTMP or RTMPS protocols to support streaming platforms. Overall, Sony's Z90V is an excellent choice for those wanting more premium capabilities in the compact Handycam format, and it provides a noticeable upgrade in general professionalism over the AX700. Coming in number four, Canon's XF400. Released alongside the XF405 in the fall of 2017, the XF400 is Canon's latest 4K UHD 60 frames per second camcorder for ENG and documentary productions, and the newest entry into the XF detachable handle series of professional cameras. It features a 1 inch CMOS sensor, a 25 to 382.5 millimeter lens, optical stabilization, a 3.5 inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, dual card slots, dual XLR inputs, a DC input, ND filters, wireless connectivity, headphone and microphone ports. For video, it shoots 4K UHD up to 60 frames per second at 150 megabits per second in the MPEG-4 codec to the MP4 format. And it shoots 1080p Full HD videos up to 60 frames per second at 35 megabits per second. Alternatively, for stills, it provides the equivalent of 8.29 megapixel photos. Canon's equipped this camera with the slow and fast motion recording mode, allowing the camera to supply super slow motion videos up to 120 frames per second in full HD at an impressive 175 megabits per second. It also attains the wide DR gamma support for seamless gradations and smooth details. Like the XA50 though, this camera also obtains Canon's dual pixel CMOS AF for confident tracking and continuous AF performance. The system also comes with face priority and the face only AF mode, providing precise flexibility over the autofocusing. However, since the camera is Wi-Fi enabled, it offers wireless transfers via FTP for editing or live streaming as well as full remote operation. In the end, the SX400 is a camera ideally suited for broadcast and event work. It's a compact, highly versatile option that'll meet the needs of professionals across a wide range of recording situations. Coming in number three, Panasonic's HCX2000. Initial release in the spring of 2020, Panasonic's HCX2000 finally updates the wildly popular HCX1000, released six years prior, and it's their next generation, ultra-compact, broadcast-ready entry into the HC lineup. 
It features a 1 over 2.5 inch MOS sensor, a 25 to 600 millimeter lens, a 3.5 inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, a DC input, dual card slots, ND filters, and a microphone and headphone port. With this new update, Panasonic's opted for several key refinements over the original model, despite its slightly smaller sensor. Namely, they've improved the optical zoom range, now boasting a 24 times zoom rather than just 20, and they've also gone ahead and improved the codecs, now bringing 10-bit 422 internal recording and the high efficiency HEV option. Additionally, they've opted for an ultra compact Handycam inspired design and now weighing just 3.3 pounds, the HTX 2000 has become one of the smallest and lightest options with 4K 60fps. Yet it still offers excellent physical ports, including two XLR inputs with phantom power, a 3G SDI port for monitors, and a handle with a built in LED light. And it even now boasts direct full HD live streaming over its 2.4 GHz connection to several RT compatible frameworks perfect for platforms like Facebook and YouTube. Overall, despite the new compact design, the ACX2000 packs the same advanced functions as its predecessor, but it improves in several areas while offering superior mobility. Coming in number two, JVC's JY-HM250U. Initially released in the fall of 2018, JVC's HM250U updates the HM180 with built-in streaming and lower third graphics. It features a 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor, a 29 to 355 millimeter lens, a three and a half inch articulating touchscreen, a tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, a DC input, dual card slots, ND filters, and a microphone and headphone port. For video, it shoots 4K video up to 30 FPS at 150 50 megabits per second and 1080p full HD video up to 120 FPS at 50 megabits per second. It uses the MPEG-4 codec, which supplies footage to the MOV and ABC HD formats, while for stills it provides 12.4 megapixel equivalent photos. With this new model, JVCs place enormous importance on live streaming and custom lower thirds integrated graphics. And the HM250U becomes the first fully featured camcorder that can stream in full HD directly to Facebook Live and YouTube in camera without using an external switcher or a computer. Merely upgrade the firmware, then sign in through the camera's menus, and you're ready to broadcast live for up to four hours. Additionally, obtains JVC's advanced streaming engine, which is compatible with not just RTMP, but also Zixi and Wowza protocols. The camera also receives their latest IP communication engine too, and this lets you remotely control and monitor it through any smartphone, tablet, or computer. Yet you also can include custom lower third graphic overlays where you can upload logos and icons displayed on the video. And this feature is a must for adding text, designs, and other information for ENG applications or live events. Overall, JVC's HM250U brings the power of a full-fledged team to the convenience of a single operator, and it has become among the best single camera production options to date, especially if you're after professional level live streaming with minimal hassle and complications. Coming in number one, Panasonic's DVX200. Initially released in the fall of 2015, the Panasonic DVX200 still offers the greatest feature set of all its rivals. It features a micro four thirds sensor, a 30 to 398 millimeter Leica lens, a 4.3 inch articulating screen, tilting viewfinder, optical stabilization, a DC input, ND filters, dual card slots, dual XLR inputs, an SD output, headphone and microphone ports. For video, it shoots DCI 4K video up to 24 FPS, 4K UHD up to 60 FPS, and 1080p full HD up to 60 FPS. And it does so using the MPEG-4 codec at 100 megabits per second to the MOV, MP4, or AVCHD formats. Like the UX180, it supports variable framework recording in full HD as well, up to 120 FPS. And for stills, it supplies 8.9 megapixel equivalent photos. However, it's the sensor that remains the key selling point here over rivals. It's the world's first micro four thirds format camcorder with an integrated zoom lens. This addition allows the camera to offer the best low light performance and greatest depth of field in its class. It also obtains the full V-Log and Cine-like support, allowing the camera to boast 12 stops of dynamic range. And it also obtains advanced recording functionality, such as background recording and pre-recording, both ensuring you never miss a moment. In the end, Panasonic's DVX200 is an impressive and innovative release despite its age, and it brings an artistic design to an otherwise stale market. And it still remains the best camera in its class and provides excellent value for the money. It's the ideal choice for documentary filmmakers looking for the benefits of a larger sensor, 
a integrated zoom lens, full physical connectivity and ports without the limitations of traditional camcorders, namely low light performance and signal to noise. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the top 10 best 4K camcorders. For more information, check out our website, photographypx.com. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>